everybody, it's me, uh, Pixel Dirt, yeah, and I'm taking over on uh, on the show today, Pixels the Plastic, because we're talking about a toy line that's cooler than you. You know it, we're talking about Tron, because I love Tron. Tron is like the coolest, like, like the best movie, the best games, the best toy, and hey everybody, it's, it's that other guy. What's your name? What's going on? Yeah, did, did you just introduce my show? Um, well, I was just, uh, oh, look, Princess Zelda. Princess Zelda. Hey, all right, well, uh, like he said, welcome to another episode of From Pixels to Plastic. I am your host, Pixel Dan. Now, if you haven't seen Tron, what's wrong with you? Seriously, it's one of the greatest movies from the 1980s, and it was produced by Disney. Totally cool. Now the cool thing about the movie is that it actually spawned an arcade game that became probably more popular than the movie. But anyway, that's enough about that. If you want to see more about Tron, I would suggest checking out John D's review of Tron at RetroWareTV.com. Because what we're here to talk about today for real are the Tron action figures. Toys! Yeah, Tron! I love them! Let's do it! Yeah, what he said. Yeah! You're right. I don't, I don't, have, I don't know. I'm, I might be having a heart attack. Hold on. <laughs> With the success of the movie and arcade game, an action figure line just made sense. You knew they were going to do it, and everyone was going to buy them. Disney gave the action figure rights to a toy company named Tomy. Tomy was really mostly known for their wind-up toys, so this was their first venture into the action figure market. Now, Tomy's Tron line was small, and it's very hard to come by now. But luckily, sometime around the 20th anniversary of the film, NECA re-released the original Tomy Tron action figures, and that's actually what we'll be looking at today. Now, I do own, like, one of the old ones, but, like, all the paint's off it. You don't want to see it anymore. But these figures are nice. NECA reissued the figures, and they were identical in every way to the original Tomy figures. The only difference is in the packaging. However, NECA did release variants of the packaging that resembled the original Tomy boxes. Just like the figures, these boxes are completely identical to the Tomy version, with the only difference being the company name in the lower corner. Only four action figures were released in the line. You had Tron, Flynn, Sark, and a warrior. The figures were made from translucent plastic with painted on details in an attempt to capture the unique look of the characters from the films. Since Flynn and Tron were so similar looking, with the only difference in the sculpts being their torsos, Tron was actually made of a purple plastic, while Flynn was made of blue plastic. The two villains, Sark and the Warrior, of course, were made of red plastic. Now each figure came with glow-in-the-dark accessories. Sark, Flynn, and Tron all came with their data disc. They actually would glow in the dark too, they were pretty cool, and if you threw them really hard, you could hurt somebody, which is, I think, another reason why I liked them so much. Uh, you could also clip the discs onto their back with a small peg and hole. The warrior had a different accessory, he had a staff instead. The line also included two vehicles. These were the famous light cycles. Probably one of my favorite parts of the entire movie is watching the light cycle races, so it was awesome to have one of these. In the original line, there were two cycles available, a red and a yellow. Now, I've got that yellow, and you can see it's pretty beat up, and it's missing a lot of paint and stuff, but I still love that thing. I'll, I'll probably be buried with it. In fact, they might actually put that in the casket and just toss my body out and see. Now, NECA introduced a third light cycle, a blue one. So now you could have the red, the yellow, and the blue. You could crash them into each other. It was awesome. The figures could sit inside the cycles, and a zip cord allowed the cycle to launch off on its own. These cycles have actually become some of the hardest pieces to obtain from the original line of Tron toys, and even the re-releases are sometimes hard to find. Now, in many ways, I guess I could really say that Tron is like my favorite movie of all time, and these toys are some of my favorite toys of all time, and the video games are just like my favorite video games of all time. And in fact, I might even say that in lots of ways, Tron has changed my life. But uh, let's not get overboard, because I don't want to be this guy. Hey, you know, you actually did a pretty good job with that episode. 
A lot of good information, very informative. Mm -hmm. Not yeah, bad, yeah, not thanks. bad. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, so I'm, moving on to... No, actually, we're out of time for out this of, episode. Out of time? time? Yeah. What do you mean, out of time? What? There's so much more to talk about. What about Tron 2.0? There was the 2.0 game. They had the 2.0 toys. There's so... I got tons of work still to do. What are you talking about, out of time? Come on, now. Well, apparently, Dirt is not finished with Tron yet. So, uh... I guess if you need to see more about Tron, then you should probably check out www.thatnewtoysmell.com this Friday. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Pixel Dan. Take care, guys.